Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 30 is brought to you by examplay.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. So now we'll talk about ionization constant in the weak acid. I told only weak acid and weak base we have the ionization constant. So we'll talk about the ionization constant in the weak acid. So let's suppose I have a weak acid HX. We need to put in water, it dissolves into H plus and X minus ions. Correct. And Ka is called the disassociation constant of the weak acid. And how we got this value? Let's suppose we had some C uh, moles of HX. Liquid we can ignore at T is equal to 0. And this was 0 and this was 0. At T is equal to 0, what happened? This becomes C into 1 minus alpha. Let's suppose alpha is my ionization, I mean uh, degree of dissociation. And this becomes C alpha and this becomes C alpha. I want to write K. K will become what in this case? H3O plus ion concentration into X minus by HX. H2O we can ignore because a liquid, pure liquid. This becomes C alpha into C alpha by C into 1 minus alpha. This is the thing, what do you see? C alpha square is cancelled by 1 minus alpha. And that is what we have got. And this is called Ka. Just again, in case of water, we get Kw a fancy name. Here also we give a fancy name, it is ionization constant of weak acid, Ka. Right? Just a fancy name, ionization constant of weak acid. And please note, it is also temperature dependent. So at a given temperature, this guy Ka, this ionization constant of weak acid is nothing but, it is a measure of strength of acid. So the higher the value of K, the stronger the acid. Obviously, if you see, uh, we have talked about this in the equilibrium. Higher the value of K, the reaction will go more in this direction, right? Higher the value of K, the reaction will go more in the forward direction. So if the K is higher, the reaction will go more in the forward direction and you'll get more H plus ion concentration. And the acid will be strong. See the same principles which we have learned in the, in the equilibrium chapter, uh, in, in, uh, in the earlier slides, we are using it here. So if the K is more, the reaction goes more in the forward direction, you get more H plus ion concentration. So, if K is more, the acid is stronger. So, since we had the pH and it became a very fashionable uh, term, we use the pH in other things also now. In pKa also, pKa is nothing but minus log of Ka concentration. So, pH what was? pH was, P of H was minus log of H plus concentration. Here we have pK is nothing but minus log of K. Similarly, we learn about pKb also because the P, pKh is became very, in fact, pOH also is a term here. There's nothing but minus log of OH minus concentration. Right? Similarly, we have pKa that is minus log of K. So, this is some uh, list of some uh, ionization constants of weak acid at, at 290 Kelvin. This is just to say that. Uh, these values are already known and we have scientists have calculated these values. So if you want to use the numericals or in your uh, chemistry research, you can use this. For example, ionization constant of hydrochloric acid is 3.5 to the power minus 4. And ionization constant of, uh, let's suppose, uh, benzoic acid is 6.5 to the power minus 5. You can say that hydrochloric acid is a stronger acid as compared to benzoic acid. You compare these two acids. Hydrofluoric acid is a strong acid because it has greater value of Ka, that means it uh, dissociates more as compared to benzoic acid. So, with the value of uh, Ka, also at a given temperature, we can tell that which acid is stronger and which is weaker. So, let's take one question here. The question says the ionization constant of the phenol is 10 to the power minus 10. You have to find the concentration of phenol in 0.05 m solution of phenol. The reaction is like this, 66H5 plus H2O will be in equilibrium with C6H5 minus and H3O plus I. This is aqueous, this is liquid, this is also aqueous, and this is aqueous. Correct. So it says that the constant, in ionization constant of this is this, what is the concentration of phenol? In 0.05 m solution of phenol. That means at t is equal to 0, this was 0 0.05 m and this was 0 and 0. At t is equal to some equilibrium, this becomes 0 0.05 m minus x. This became x, this x. 
So K, if you want to find, is nothing but concentration of these squares. So this becomes I'll just write like this directly x square by 0 0.05 m minus x. And this is nothing but 10 to the power minus 10. Right? So if you solve this, you get x to be 2.2 to 10 to the power minus 6. Thus, I can say that my h plus ion concentration is nothing but 2.2 to the power minus 6 and my C6H5O minus concentration is also 2.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 and that is my answer. Easy one. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.